fact, I'm here to talk about one of the program that we are curating for um, students. I actually uh, joined VHub recently, but otherwise I come with almost 15 plus years of experience in the social impact space, worked with organizations like Desh Pande Foundation, Telangana State Innovation Cell, and recently I quit the job at ACIC CBIT, one of the Government of India project again. So my heart always goes to social impact, and uh, it's great to see so many, uh, you know, people are doing a great work, organizations like uh, Srishti and Katha and Dhatri, kudos to all of you. Please continue to do what the great work you guys are doing. Coming to WeHub, how many of you believe that we're still fighting to get more women into boardrooms and more women to join tech? We are the India's first state-led nodal agency for promoting women entrepreneurship. We actually focus on uh, three areas here, as you see. So we help startups if they have a great product, we help them connect to the government departments you know, for the support. Second, we have our own incubation programs, tailor-made, right from six weeks to 14 weeks range. And we help right from idea stage to growth stage. We also trying to create an ecosystem for women where we are kind of creating a sisterhood for women to depend on each other and seek support and help. So we have two different verticals that we have. One is urban innovation, we call it as. And we also work in rural areas. We work with 33 districts of Telangana. And our focus is uh, right from, we do interventions right from students to uh, elevating women when they are into the growth stage. I'll speak more about these programs going forward. And this is our social impact that I was mentioning about. Social impact has, um, so far, like our focus is into four, uh, 12 SDGs as of now that we are focusing on. And we have, when I say we reach, we have a pre-incubation program where we do a lot of boot camps to reach out to these rural areas to see what kind of support these women require. Our goal is basically to improve their livelihoods. Only one example I would like to give, transgender who was actually in the streets of Mumbai was brought back to create her livelihood. Now she's a photographer and she set up her own uh, studio. So that become her livelihood. So that's one just example. Likewise, we have many examples how we have been transforming uh, women lives. And of course, we have the incubation programs and acceleration. So I would like to talk about this particular program which I'm actually leading. So this is a, a student's program. So the objective of the whole program is to see more women getting into tech and create that aspiration among the students to become leaders. I'm sure that it doesn't happen over a night or maybe one year, two years. It takes a journey, but we just would like to seed in their heart that something you can definitely do. So while I was talking to a couple of students, uh, they, uh, you know, gave me reasons why they don't want to get into, uh, you know, core tech jobs. One is definitely the support system. They say the parents and the society and all that. But they also mentioned the skills. When I say skills, it's not about the courses that they're studying in the college, but it's mostly about the application of it, right? The experiential learning part of it. So that's what this particular program is going to address. So students, most of them, when we were interacting, they have no idea what kind of career they would like to choose. So even whatever courses they are studying, it is by accident or maybe by peer pressure. And most of you all know that is because of the parents' choice. We still Indian children follow our parents' passion to join the courses that they want us to pursue, correct? So while we were talking to this, we thought maybe one of the uh, uh, you know requirement is helping them understand what kind of personality they have, what skills they have, uh, or what are the strengths they have, and what kind of interests they have. So based on this, we have defined career assessment test. Once students go through an assessment test, we actually try to map mentors to them. Mentors actually help create a roadmap for them to um, you know, reach wherever they are trying to reach after 5 years, 10 years or 15 years. So that's going to be a continuous handholding from our side. And here we are, have divided the program into two parts. One, we said there's going to be an entrepreneurial track, there's going to be a 
tech track. So when I say tech track, it's not only uh, engineering for engineering students, it's also for the non-engineering students. What I'm trying to say, if you are, say for example, you're studying in a BCom college and finance is your um, you know, uh, area of interest and you want to become CFO someday, maybe after 10 years or 15 years, we help you create that path and we'll help you get your internships because that's where you need to kick start somewhere to get the experience and feel of it. Parallelly, we are also uh, collaborating with organizations like LinkedIn and Coursera to help them pursue some certification courses as well, so to complement their education. So, but the whole program is based on the kind of internship we're being enablers since we have access to all the corporates and startup ecosystem. We are trying to create the, the live experience for the students and mandate skills. So, of course, this is a very complex program. We want to touch a student life from all the aspects, right from skills to the knowledge to the experience. So these are the offerings of the program and the outcomes that clearly lays down. So if you see right from assessment to exposure visit. So one of the beauty of this program is once we know, uh, so it's going to be on a hub and spoke model. We are going to work with engineering and non-engineering colleges. We are kind of creating clubs also. So HR club, Similarly, finance club, operations club, we identified, uh, grouped all the uh, domains into only major five uh, domains. One is HR, finance, marketing, tech, and of course, operations. So these are the five that we have mapped and we are kind of creating those clubs where students or people who are a part of each club can interact with each other, learn from each other, and also you know, partner with them or journey together. And of course, the program outcomes, uh, every word speaks by itself. So as I said, we also have an entrepreneurial track. In the entrepreneurial track, we are ensuring that student get uh, you know, experience of building something, right from idea to building the proof of concept. So happy to support and uh, I welcome most of the uh, colleges. So how you can be a part of this program, you basically have to be studying in any of the colleges. If you talk to your college and then your college faculty or principal is excited to call us for a meeting, we will be happy to come and talk to them and see how this program can be uh, coming to your college. Thank you so much for the opportunity and all the team. Thank you so much. <laughs>